today I'm going to talk about why are these birds in an aviary and why do we have them in a cage in, in the house and why don't we let them free? What, what, what kind of mean people are we? First I'll do some introductions. This is Peach. We rescued Peach in 2015. That's going on nine years now. He's been in our care for nine years. And the one making all the noise there, <laughs> that's Cherry. Actually, we, adopt, we adopted him in 2017 in the fall. We don't know his exact age. I think he's about as old as Peach. Peach is coming nine, maybe Cherry's coming nine. Then there's Maple. Maple came in 2018. Pie, he came in 2018. And Spice down there in 2019. They're all rescued birds, but <coughs> Cherry was adopted because we only had Peach at the time. We had little Peach. He was the first bird that we had that we rescued and we were gonna release him. We were working on it, but he got imprinted on us and <coughs> a lot of you know the story, but I'm saying this for the new viewers now. So they, 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 some viewers have been on the channel for so many years, they know it all. They've seen all the videos too, some people. Thank, <coughs> thank you for the ones that have seen all those videos and you've hung around over the years. We appreciate your loyalty and, and sticking around, leaving nice comments. And, and also, you're helping with answering the comments. Sometimes if someone asks something or you, we don't get to it and you like to, to talk about it. But yeah, we had the peach first. And then uh, a wildlife uh, rehab in, in the city asked if we'd like a buddy for Peach. <coughs> There's the buddy, <laughs> Cherry. Because we adopted him. His, his wing was broken badly. <coughs> and it was surgically repaired. A lot of the v subscribers helped. They donated because his, sur <coughs> his surgery was over 3,000 Canadian. I think it was closer to $4,000. And there's no one... No, no vet or wildlife would ever pay for that. They said if they can't release the bird into the wild, they just euthanize it. So they said, do you want to adopt them? Because they're going to put them to sleep. <coughs> we said, no, we'll take them. He's been a part of the family ever since. And then little Maple there, she was rescued. Her feather condition was really bad. Like, and <coughs> She was in an area where there was dead birds around. I'll, I'll leave uh, links to those videos. Please watch those if you're new here. Like, don't just leave a comment and say, why are they like that? Release them. Watch a few videos and if you still don't agree, then move on or do what you want. But her tail feathers and, and wings were all in poor condition and it, they were damaged. We took, all these birds have been to the vet. They're all documented. The government... The government knows we have these birds. These are all documented birds. We don't just have birds here. We just went out into the bush and, and grabbed one and then stuck them in here. You know, it's, it's not the way it works. We rescued them or adopted. And four of them became imprinted on us. The imprinting, look it up on Google. You'll get a better explanation of it than I can maybe give you. So, uh, Google, what does imprint, bird imprinting mean? Or an imprinted bird or whatever. You'll see. So four of them are imprinted. Cherry isn't because he was adopted with the injury. So he's not imprinted. He's, he's actually still have his wild ways. He never was imprinted on humans. But he's used to us by now in some ways. He gets all his food and shelter from us. And his companionship from these other birds, I'm sure, I'm sure he loves that. All these other birds around, he's not alone, right? So anyways, you, you cannot release imprinted birds. Like, like I said, look that up on Google, check it out. And that would be cruel to do that. Like, this is a big responsibility we have here. We look after them, we love them, we do research, we take them to the vet when, they're, <coughs> when it's needed. So we do the best we can for them. Now, life isn't perfect, right? If, if they could be out in the wild, we never would have rescued them or adopted them. That's great. But it doesn't always work out like that. Peach is imprinted. He was the first bird, like I said. He's very imprinted on us. If we were to let him go now, we just said, see ya, head out there. He'd probably get eaten by a hawk or an owl at night. 
He, he wouldn't know what to do. And <coughs> the, the birds migrate, but Peach is not going to migrate. Peach never migrated. He never had the chance. So he'd be up here alone right now. And then in the summer, there's <coughs> other crows. They don't take to each other that that good. Like, they will, they will hurt each other. This is little pie here, the magpie. Actually, he speaks. He talks. If he doesn't now, there'll be a link below to that. Check that out. But we take this very seriously, guys, and we love them, and we care for them, and it's a big responsibility. This is not just a cat or, or a goldfish in a bowl, you know. This is a big responsibility, and if you're going to take them on, you just can't get rid of them next week. You take the big responsibility, and they're, they're your family. And we treat them like that. And if we were just doing this for YouTube, like to say, oh, we're going to make money. We're not making much money. We make a little bit. We get some beautiful donations and gifts on our wish list. But we don't make a lot of money from YouTube doing this. So it's not like if I were going to steal 100 birds from the bush, right? And say, oh, go get some more and let's... Let's line these Averys and make it, and people say, I'll say I'm the bird man, or whatever I want to say, some stupid name, and we're not doing that. We, we have five birds here. We could have hundreds of birds by now if we, if we rescued everything we've seen. Some we've taken to the wildlife, and, and, and some we just left alone, I'll be honest. We're not going to take any more on either. This is... What you see is what we have here, and we're not going to... This is what we're responsible for, and we're going to care for these ones. And they live a long life in captivity, too, so... You know, you keep getting birds, and what happens if we go... Like, we have some arrangements made, like, they'll be looked after, but... Maybe the people, like, down the road can't look after all these birds, so they start taking them to the wildlife rescues, and then they'll find out that they're imprinted, and maybe they'll put them to sleep, right? So, we're not just going to keep getting them, because if something... The older we get... Maybe they'll outlive us. I think uh, a crow lives about seven, eight years in the wild, like on average. Like, and you could see why all the predators, the diseases out there, the food sources, right? If they can't eat, they starve. They could be injured by another bird. It's like crows fight. Like, if they feel that they're threatening their mate or something, or they're going to steal their mate, they'll fight like anybody else. So. But in captivity, he could live 50 years. I don't know. Oh, here's someone talking back there. Let's take a look. I don't know if you heard that, guys. I'll put the link below to a talking video. You check that out. <laughs> Sometimes when I turn the camera around, they don't always talk. So anyways, guys, take a look at some of the other videos on the channel. And, uh... Like, you're just coming here for the first time, you're wondering, what's going on? Why, why has he got birds in a cage like this? What kind of cruel bugger is that, you know? <coughs> There's, not everyone agrees with what we have and what we're doing here, and that's, that's your opinion. But the, we made the responsibility, like I said. <coughs> we're going to look after them, and that's it. And, and lots of people watch, they enjoy seeing the birds here and learning more about them, and... Some of them have asked questions in the beginning, why do you have them? And they, they watched some videos and they thought, oh, I understand a little bit now. Like they just thought, oh, he's got a bird on there and he's trying to make a fortune <laughs> with, a, with a pet crow. This is Pi here. Pi was born in 2018. We rescued him in a back alley. Check the video links below. There was dead magpies and crows all over that alley. And he was sitting on a fence or on the ground. And we rescued we took him out of that situation, and he became imprinted. But he's heavily imprinted on us. Like he's he's so excited to see us all the time too. Like you go feed him, and he's chirping and flopping his wings, and like he's just so excited. It's just 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 look at him. What a beautiful bird he is. Look at that. Lovely, yeah. So guys, I'm going to end the video. I hope some of you understand a little more. Because those comments are always coming. And it's not constantly. And 
but, but the same thing I keep hearing, let them go, and why are they in a cage, and did you cut their wings, and like all that stuff. <laughs> We've done none of that. And if we did, we would do it, right? I would tell you, what What are you going to do about it if I tell you that? I'm not lying. You could say, oh, he's lying. And, but what's to lie about? It's not like you're going to take take something away from me, right? You can't. These birds, are, I told you, they're all they're all registered and, and they know we have them. And like I said, we're not going to get any more. If we find any injured bird, we'll take it to the wildlife and they'll probably euthanize it, but... We're not going to take on anymore because we're responsible for these. So check out all the other videos and and if you want to stick around on the channel, great. If you don't agree, just move on. Give a big thumbs up, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.